Hello, and we're here today talking about our nail drill. Um, I'm Michelle with Bellahoot, and um, I'm in the middle of working on my tips. That way you could see me use the drill. So um, this is after I've sized them and glued them on, and this is what I, uh, I've already trimmed all my other ones down just to save me a bunch of time. So I'm going to start with this one as if I just had glued it on, and it is dry. So what I like to do just to save myself some time is to go in, you know, with my nail clipper and just... I like mine pretty short, but not as short as my natural nail. That's why I added the tips and just trim onto both sides. If you have a tip trimmer, great. But as you can see, they trim pretty easily and you can just gently bend it and get it out of the way. Okay, so now we're left with a bunch of jagged edges, as you can see. Sorry, I keep knocking my camera. Let me stop it there. We have a bunch of jagged edges here. We have to where this is not flat against my natural nail. Let me see if I have a better one, like here. So we're gonna come in with our nail drill. So when you get your drill, you're gonna have a little case for it. You're gonna have the box full. This has a lid of accessories or the drill bits. And then you're gonna have the instructions. So we're just gonna kind of go through the instructions here and talk about each one of the bits. So um, this first one, is your diamond cone here. And this one can remove dead skin. You can just put it right in. Just ease it in the barrel or into the drill. And if you just got yours and you have not installed the batteries, you just twist it open and put in your batteries. Twist it back on. Let's see if I can make that. That'll of course fight me because I'm on video, but that's okay. Okay, so now it'll turn on. I'm sorry, it's a little bit loud. But this one you can remove dead skin. So, you know, if you had anything on here that you want to remove, let's see if I can find a spot. <laughs> I use nail oil all the time, so mine aren't too bad, but I'll at least show you that it doesn't hurt at all. And you can just remove, you know, any dead skin you want there. What I'm going to use it for, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but one of my nails underneath, my natural nail, is it's breaking underneath my nail. And I'm not real sure why all of a sudden it's had to do that, but it keeps getting stuff caught in there. So I'm just going to take it and let it get that excess nail off, if that made sense, of so my natural nail. That's just kind of, it's breaking off inside of there. So I think there's one more little piece you can see. So that's it. I'm going to trim that off. Okay. So that's the um, diamond cone or the metal cone. And then to remove it, you just pull it right back out. I'm going to keep hitting this camera. Okay. So next in my little set over here that I'm going to keep dropping. This next one is your small grinding cone. And this one can just get into hard to reach places. And if you see little bugs flying around me, it's because I'm over at my mom's and she has indoor plants. So we have little gnats that are just hanging out with me today. Okay. So this one's a cone, whereas this one's a barrel. I don't know if you can see the difference on the video, hopefully. So it's the smaller of the two. So this one's going to get in our hard to reach spaces. So see how like over here on some of these, let me see, where's a good one? You know, it's not quite laying flat. That's what I'm going to go in and try to fix with this. Let me see if I can not hit the, nope. I've got my tripod right above me so you can see. But I'm just going to go right into you know, the corners in here and I can smooth those out better than with the grinding barrel because this one's just smaller. So hopefully that makes sense, but you can just smooth out your edges right here where it's a little harder to reach. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm off camera again. So it'll just help file down the harder to reach little corners and stuff. Because once you put on your tips and you go them down, you do want them flush with your natural nail. So we need to smooth all this out. Okay, so then our next one that I'm going to use, you just again remove it by pulling it. I'm just taking it off camera so I don't smack it again. Okay, so then with our barrel, that's where we can get um, the extra thick nails. And it's just used for smoothing any... Um, you know, smooth your extra thick nails, your surfaces, 
or any ripples. So you can use it right across all of these. And you're not you're not filing your natural nail when you're using these tips. You're filing off some of the tip because you want them flush with your natural nail. So when you go to put your product on, there's not an edge that it's going to get onto and underneath. So that's pretty much it. You just use it kind of slow or fast, however you're comfortable with. Um, I'm not a professional manicurist, so I don't probably go as fast as you could. But you're just flattening out. See how now it's flatter against my nail surface? I've got probably a little bit more to do right here. But this just saves you time. I will go ahead and show you... Um, this barrel's pretty good. It still gets in those corners. But see where that only took a few seconds? If you're going to... Um, you know, probably less than a minute. If you're going to file them, you know, you're going to be sitting here filing quite a while and you're going to, I think, hit your natural nail a lot more. You're not having as much control, you know, if you're going in with this big old file than you do with a smaller barrel. So, and this is a pretty small file, but it's still, you don't have as much angle control as you do with this pen. So that's the barrel. Then you've got your, and I'm not going to really show you anything with this because since we're um, applying um, nail art, we actually do not want to use the soft felt cone in this case because this one is a polish and shine. So um, when you turn it on, it's really, you know, kind of, it's not fluffy, but it's a real soft one. You would put it right on your nail bed and it'll shine it. And in this case, let me go ahead and, I guess go ahead and do something like that. Take it back off. But see how it adds that shine there? It's just to shine and polish your nail. Whereas when we're adding nail art, we don't want um, a super shiny. We want just a clean, no oil type of finish on it. And then finally, your flat emery head. You can use this one for shaping. So instead of having to file all this down, I can turn it on. And use it to shape this. This tickles my nails really bad. I don't know why. So but I can go right in. And I, it, maybe you can see too like how easy that cut through the nail. Okay, how much does it remove it? Wow. Whereas if I was trying to use the file, it would take me a long time to get that that whole piece off. So I won't make you sit here and watch me shape them, but I wanted to kind of show you. Like I said, this tickles me for some reason. But you can just use that one to shape. See how much cleaner that edge is already? All right, so that is our drill. You have five drill bits, one, two, three, four, five. This one's for shaping and filing. This one's for polishing and smoothing. This one's to smooth thick nails. This one's to get in the hard to reach corners. And I'm terribly off camera this time, I'm sorry. And this is our removing dead skin, or like I used it underneath my natural nail to get it nice and smooth. So hopefully that helps you on how to use your tool. And as I mentioned, it's all right here, um, but just wanted to give you kind of a visual and you just remove again the bits by pulling it and trying not to hit your camera while you do so. And if you want to pull, put it back in, and just be gentle. You obviously don't want to pull this whole thing apart, but so grab it by the bottom of the barrel and pull it out of your drill. So that's it. Thank, thank you so much for watching.